guys welcome back to my channel my name is Maya if this is your very first time here today we are gonna be doing this very beautiful slightly colorful and glittery look for New Year's Eve we only got a couple more days left in the year so I felt like this look is perfect if you're trying to step out especially if you're gonna wear something more new white or black I feel like this is the perfect like pop of color that you need you know when you stepping out for the new year before we hop into the tutorial please make sure that you have hit subscribe below i do not want you guys to miss out on any uploads that i got coming to you we do do beauty fashion and lifestyle videos on this channel so if that's right up your alley please make sure you hit that button and let's hop right into it all right guys so we are nice and close i want to bring you guys close today so we can really get into this eye look i have not used this palette on my channel as of yet um i've used it like as a mirror <laughs> um i've used it a little bit in real life but i wanted to do a review of it but i never got around to doing it so regardless this is what we're going to use today for this new year's eve glittery look i kind of wish that my crease could have been more brown but there's no deep brown colors in this palette so the first one we're going to go in with is vortex and that is this like deep purple color here in the corner first of all i'm getting ahead of myself we need to prime the eye. So I'm going to go in with my concealer and just blend the eye out and prime it. And I'm going in with this light concealer as well as my Born This Way in Chestnut just so we get a good blend, but also make it bright so the colors can stick out. All right, so now we're going to go into Vortex, which is this deep purple color here in the corner. And we're just going to blend this into the crease. And towards the edges, I'm kind of tapering it out. That way I have less blending to do towards the end. And I'm just bringing it across the crease of my eye. And from there, I'm gonna go into this color Karma. And it's kind of like the most brown matte shade we have here in the palette, but it is kind of light. But that's why I'm gonna use it as a transition and not as a crease. I'm gonna go ahead and blend out Vortex with that color. For our lid, I'm gonna go into this concealer and I'm pretty much just gonna place it right there on the lid and then sculpt it out. And y'all know how I usually do my cut creases where I bring it kind of like extended i kind of want to bring this just right to the tear duct i don't want to go too crazy today so we're gonna just do it normal today i feel like the key to cut creases is making sure number one that you're being really precise also making sure that they're even it's like this one is already a little lower than this one because you see where my crease is over here and it's like less space above the crease over there so that's how we know we need to add just a little bit more and bring it up just a little bit higher just to and towards the end of the cut crease i'm kind of tapering out the concealer a little bit because that's going to help us with this blending here in a moment so that we actually get a blend of color because you don't want to just leave it because that's how it starts to look crazy so i'm gonna dip back into vortex a little bit and i'm just gonna dust over that so that we get the blend that we need see look it just starts to disappear or blend however you want to put it all right so the next color we're going into is my favorite in this whole palette and that is gold glitch and i'm actually first going to take my finger and just place it on the lid here in the middle the reason i love this color so much is because it has like pink reflex in it that get me excited every time i see this color it's just a rare, very very pretty color you'll be able to see it more like in the pictures of this look versus video i think because the camera doesn't pick it up too well but trust me she's bomb so I place that color right in the middle of the lid and then I kind of tap, I'm tapping it over the transition with Vortex just so we can get a nice little transition of color. And then right in the inner corner, I was initially going to go in with like a shimmer, but I decided against that. I think we are going to, what we did on this side, we're going to go into this color Momentum and this is pretty much just like a matte neutral nude color and i'm just gonna push that into the inner part okay so in the whim i decided to actually mix that with libra which is this purple color here and i'm gonna place that over momentum because i do want to bring a little bit of that shade of pinkish purple into this so i feel like the only thing with blending a shimmer into a matte like on the crease like that is making sure you don't lose that glitter transition so i'm taking this brush i'm not adding any more product to this for gold glitch and i'm just gonna tap over 
where they meet so that you kind of get a gradient of a lot of the shimmer and slowly fades off into the matte. One last touch for this eye, I do want to go into, if I can find it, okay. I do want to go into a, the ColourPop Glitterly Obsessed and this is in Bring the Heat. And I'm gonna go ahead and take a small brush and line the top of this cut crease and then kind of taper it down kind of like a waterfall so I feel like this look was obviously okay the way it was however I do feel like the glitter especially for like special occasions like New Year's Eve it's perfect just you know helps to give it a little extra pizzazz you know so I'm gonna save me some time I'm gonna go ahead and put my glue on my lashes and I believe these lashes are from a color pop yeah I know color pop does have lashes now and if you want to save some money you can use my code five Michael Lord and save you a little cash. For liner, I'm gonna go into my tattoo liner from Kat Von D and I'm gonna go ahead and make us a nice thick wing. Then I'm gonna go in with my Climax of Mascara from NARS and we're gonna pop these lashes on and get on this face. If you've already been watching me, I love this Milk Hydro Grip Primer from Milk Makeup. Dope. I don't know, I just feel like this primer really just grabs on. First of all, let me get my hair out of the way, Maya. So I'm trying to be cute. I feel like this primer is like perfect because it grabs onto your makeup and really helps, you know, the longevity of your makeup, which is the purpose of primer. Not only for longevity, but also to make sure that there's a nice little barrier between your skin and your foundation. So today I'm gonna be using my NARS Natural Radiant Foundation. This is in Macau. This is like my favorite foundation and they just sent it to me. So I'm excited. Also, they are coming out with little minis. Actually, they just came out. I think they're available on the 26. Um, minis of this foundation. Try to get your hands on these because NARS can be a pretty little penny. This will come in handy. Oh, it's a new bottle. So I gotta pump it a little bit. I love this foundation because I feel like Macau is like my perfect shade and the formula is to die for. Oh, just look at that. Oh, I get so excited with this foundation. I'm gonna go into my Laura Mercier concealers and this is in 6N and 5N, I believe. Yeah, so I go in with the lighter color, the darker color just to really conceal because it is almost like my foundation shade, but it really just conceals like under eye. It kind of gives me that even tone that I need. A little bit of highlight, just a, just a tad, but not for real like highlighting how we want to do for New Year's Eve, you know? So this is just an extra layer of protection, Loki. I'm gonna go into 5N and this is a lighter color and this is going to be our highlight. We actually can afford to go lighter than this, to be honest. So I'm adding a little bit of 4N just to make that a, even even brighter. This is New Year's Eve. We want our highlight to be bright. And then I am gonna use my Fenty Beauty Matchstick, and this is an espresso. I'm gonna warm it up on the back of my hand, cause I know these could be a little tough, but that is the technique for this. I'm just gonna go around the perimeter, and we're just gonna go ahead and blend her out. I'm gonna take a little bit of the excess that's on my Beauty Blender and place it underneath my contour, just for that more chiseled look on the side and I'm gonna go a little bit with my matchstick just to add a little bit of dimension to my nose. Not necessarily contour, but just to add a shape down the bridge of my nose. I guess it is contour, you know. So don't wanna go too crazy. <laughs> For powder today, we are going into a Laura Mercier translucent powder, pretty much the OG powder. And I only put that in my highlighted areas. For everything else, I'm gonna go into this Minted Skin Silk and this is their Medium Deep Powder. With the Beauty Blender, I'm going to set my smile lines and then also set or highlight underneath my contour with this. And then I actually go in with a brush with this powder and set the rest of my face. I feel like it's always best to do that with a skin tone powder. So if you have like Laura Mercier Translucent Deep or this, this one, that's perfect. For my bronzer, I'm going into these ABH by Minted Bronzers Duos. I do the lighter one, which is, let me see, season one to contour my nose because that contour is a whole lot lighter than the season two. But the season two is what I go in with for 
bronzing the face. So now I'm gonna go ahead and spray my face so we can get to this under eye. And a lot of people like to cover up their eyes when they spray their face. I don't believe in that. I think that sets it too. So I don't know, you know, take that as you want to, but <laughs> that's what I like to do. I'm gonna bring y'all close one more time, one more again for the under eyes. All right, so for our under eyes, we are gonna go back into Vortex and line the bottom lash line. And we're just really pushing this color up against that bottom lash line. I'm gonna go into Karma, which is what we blended out the crease with, and kind of run that out too. Just smoke it out. And then underneath, I do wanna go back into Gold Glitch and place that right here. And this is pretty much just to bring an element of the top onto the bottom for a complete look. For our waterline, I'm gonna go into this NARS liner and this is their High Pigment Longwear Eyeliner in Rue Bonaparte, I believe is how you say it. This is not a white, it's more of like an off-white, which I love for deeper skin tones because it doesn't look so stark underneath. It's not like white, you know? And then of course, we're gonna go into our little mascara at the bottom and then our tear duct, we are gonna go into Cosmic. And I feel like that's a cute extension of the Libra color. All right, so we're just gonna go ahead and finish off the face. I'm gonna go into this Juvia's Place highlighter and this is their volume two highlighter the for the tribe. And this is a very popping highlighter as you can see, which is why we're going for this for the holiday. I feel like if you ever feel like you put on too much highlighter, just go over it with your beauty blender and it will kind of mute so it's not so crazy. So for liner today, for my lips, I'm gonna go ahead into the Shayla by ColourPop BFF4 liner. Don't, I want this to be very like, just a gloss today, so I'm not trying to do too much. Honestly, just a quick little line of the lips. And then I'm going on, going into this lip gloss, White Russian from Buxom. This is their lip plumping gloss. And though that is slightly bright, I think I like it. Now I need to go ahead and get my hair together because you know your hair gets that after it's been behind your ear. So, good morning, sweetie. All right. Go ahead and get ready for church. All right. Now we're done. All right, babe, so this is our finished look. I feel like this look is perfect for New Year's Eve, especially if you're wearing something that's more like all black or all white, just to bring a little bit of color into the face, into the makeup. I feel like this would be perfect for you. It's not crazy with the color, but it still like has that matte pink, matte purple that you really can appreciate and just looks glamorous with a little bit of glitter here and there. And it's popping. So if you guys like this video, please make sure you give me a big thumbs up. Comment below, tell me what you thought about the look, if you would rock it, if you are gonna rock it for New Year's Eve. Also, if you have not yet, please make sure that you hit subscribe below so that you are updated every time that I drop a new video. And I'll see y'all next time.